quick fill in poem to help oh, fill the night up. <laughs> Apologise in advance, and you might catch the theme here. But if this is good enough for Pam Ayres, I'm sure you'll excuse. Fifty Shades of Grey by pa Pam Ayres. The missus bought a paperback down Shepton Mallet Way. I had a look inside her bag, twas fifty shades of grey. Well, I just left her to it, and at ten I went to bed. An hour later she appeared, the sight filled me with dread. In her left hand she held a rope, and in her right a whip. She threw them down upon the floor, and then began to strip. Well, fifty years or so ago, I might have had a peek, but Mabel hasn't weathered well. She's 84 next week. <laughs> Watching Mabel bump and grind could not have been much grimmer, and things went from bad to worse when she toppled off her zimmer. <laughs> she struggled back upon her feet a couple minutes later. She put her teeth back in and said, I am a dominator. <laughs> now, if you knew our Mabel, you'd see just why I spluttered. I spent two months in traction for the last complaint I'd uttered. She stood there nude and naked, bent forward just a bit. I went to hold her, sensual like, and stood on her left hip. <laughs> <laughs> Mabel screamed. Her teeth shot out. My God, what had I done? She moaned and groaned, then shouted out, oh, Step on the other one! <laughs> well, readers, I can tell no more of what occurred that day. Suffice to say, my jet black hair turned 50 shades of grey. <laughs> <laughs>